So one of the challenges of creating presentation decks is developing slides that are creative enough to grab people's attention while still coming across as professional. Now, on the one hand, we've all seen slides where it's pretty obvious that the creator just like Googled an image and then slapped it up onto the slide. And then others where it looks as though way more attention was paid to the overall look of the slide than the actual content. Our goal is to strike that fine, perfect balance between the two. And in order to do that, we're going to have to get, well, really comfortable with stepping outside of what is customary. Meaning, just because everybody else is incorporating JPEG images into their slides in the same way, slide after slide after slide, doesn't mean that's the most effective way to design a slide. So when you're considering what type of image to use on a slide, resist the urge, really resist that urge to use only images that encompass the meaning of the entire slide. For instance, let's say I'm delivering a slide that outlines new OSHA regulations, and I'm tempted to just throw an OSHA logo onto the slide alongside the verbiage. Instead of doing that, why not use an image that speaks to just one of the bullet points on that slide. Why? Once again, because when your audience sees that image pop up, it's gonna prompt a curiosity in them, like a question mark in their brains as to what that image is referring to. And it's that curiosity that is gonna help keep them engaged. Because once you reveal the bullet point that speaks to that image, your audience is gonna go, Oh, I get it, there it is. And they're gonna feel this sense of satisfaction for having made that connection, for having put two and two together. Now, another example would be a slide that speaks to new office policies. Instead of slapping a JPEG of an office setting onto the slide, boring, pick one physical element of an office setting and use that as your image. Again, the image itself should instantly cause your audience to go, hmm, What's that referencing exactly? And then you make them wait just a bit to find out. So there are a ton of YouTube videos that will show you all the design tricks that are available to you in PowerPoint. And I'll leave it up to you to check those out on your own time. But there is a relatively small adjustment you can make to your images that will dramatically improve their overall professionalism and it's when you turn your JPEG images into PNG images. Put simply, JPEG images almost always come in either square or rectangular shapes, meaning everything you're looking at in the image is contained within the walls of either a square or a rectangle. The thing is, these JPEGs can end up looking kind of clunky on PowerPoint slides, especially because you end up having to wrap your text around that entire image. Notice though how much cleaner and more professional it looks when I take a JPEG image and turn it into a PNG image. PNG images are not bound to the square or rectangle shape. And because of this, they give you so much more flexibility when it comes to the layout of your slide. And if you wanna give a PNG image an even sharper look, add a drop shadow to it as it will cause the image to pop that much more. So if you have Photoshop or some other kind of similar image editing software, you can pretty easily create PNG images from JPEG files. And if you need help figuring out how to do it, just head on over to YouTube and type in turn JPEG into PNG and a whole bunch of tutorial videos will populate for you. When it comes to the visual aspect of your slides, here are a couple smaller things to keep in mind. Whenever you bring up a new slide, let the slide title and main image be the only two pieces of information the audience sees. Then animate in each of the bullet points and other types of messaging only as you speak to it. By putting the image up first, it creates that curiosity in your audience's mind of, hmm, I wonder what this slide is gonna be about and causes them to wait with a little bit of anticipation for what you're about to say. Another good rule of thumb is to, whenever possible, stay away from using the standard 
clip art that PowerPoint makes available. This is kind of more of a personal opinion of mine than anything, but put simply, clip art is incredibly boring to look at, especially when there are so many other types of visually interesting images available online. So find out if your organization has a subscription to an image catalog like Shutterstock or Flickr. And if they do, spend some time searching for images and shapes that you think you might use repeatedly in your slide decks. And if your organization doesn't have a subscription to one of these online services, show them how much better your slide decks can look when using professional looking images and encourage them to purchase one. They are so, so worth it. Finally, if you happen to have an image that manages to overlap with your text, you can use the opacity feature within PowerPoint to fade the image out just a bit so that your text sticks out over it. Like I said earlier, there are a ton of PowerPoint tutorials on YouTube that will help you get the most out of your PowerPoint software. Just keep in mind that just because you can do something with PowerPoint doesn't mean you should. When in doubt, keep it simple. <laughs>